Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? What we have here, this follows when we have a raised to power m plus n. This can be expressed as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. At this here, this becomes 5 raised to power x times 5 squared, then equals to 60 from here. The next step, you can write this as 5 raised to power x times 5 squared, 5 times 5, that's 25. Then equals to 60 on this side. That is here, we divide both sides by 25. Divide this side by 25. Also divide this side by 25, which implies here 25 cancel each other. And we are left with 5 raised to power x now equals to 60 over 25. And also here we can write this as 5 raised to power x equals to 5 times 12, then over 5 times 5. That is here, 5 cancelled each other. And we are left with 5 raised to the power x equals to 12 over 5. Then, next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is here, we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 12 over 5. That is, next step we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, all we have here becomes x log 5 equals to log 12 over 5 here. That is, next step here. Next step here, we divide both sides by log 5. Divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5, which implies here log 5 cancel each other. And we have x left, which is equal to log 12 over 5 divided by log 5. Then, from what we have here, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b. This can be expressed as log a minus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 12 minus log 5 divided by log 5. Then also here, we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to log 12 over log 5 minus log 5 over log 5. That is here, yeah, this cancelled each other. We have one left. Then x now equals to log 12 over log 5 minus 1. And also, from what we have here, we can express 12 as 4 times 3, which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 3 over log 5 minus 1. And this also follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a minus plus log b. That is, here we have x equals to log 4 plus log 3 over log 5 and minus 1. Then, also here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 minus 1. Then, yeah, 4 can be written as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. But this we have x equals to log 
2 square over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 minus 1. That is, when we apply the power law here, 2 comes here, and we have x equals to 2 log 2 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 minus 1. And from here, we apply change of bits. From where we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log a to base b that is what we have here becomes x equals to 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1 so here we have the value of x in this problem as 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1. Then, what we have here becomes 5 raised to power. 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1 then we have plus 2 is it equals to 60 on this side then from what we have here minus minus 1 plus 2 same thing as 2 minus 1 that's 1 so we can say this is 5 raised to power 1 then plus 2 log 2 base 5 then plus log 3 with 5 is equals to 60 here. Then 5 here we can separate this as when we have a raised to power m plus n with the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. Then here we have 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5 times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 is it equals to 60 on this side then 5 raised to power 1 same thing as 5 that tends here we can rewrite this 2 from power law and we have 5 raised to power log 2 square base 5 and times also 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 is it equals to 60 on this side then here we have 5 times 5 raised to power log 2 squared, that's 4, base 5, and times also 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 is equals to 60 on this side. Then here this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is the same thing as b. But this here is the same thing as 4. Here this is 3. So we have 5 times 4. Then times 3 is equals to 60 from here. We have 5 times 4. That's 20. Then 20 times 3 is 60, which is equals to 60 here. That is the left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, here we conclude that x equals to 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.